after the late invite to the combine, and now you're getting all these workouts, are you more encouraged by the interest you're getting from team? You know, it's obviously a positive thing, you know, when, when any team wants you to come work out. And uh, you just have to go in there and not try to do too much and play your game, and that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to do every workout. So you're holding up okay physically, TJ, or how, how has it been from just day to day trying to survive? Uh, you know, I mean, do you have do you, are you doing things to kind of get away from it or rest or? Yeah, uh, during this process, rest is key, and uh, you know your body can get fatigued. So after every workout, I'm trying to get in the ice bath for as long as I can. And, um, I think eating healthy it helps you out in the long run too. You know, eating fast food is only going to wear your body down more, and um, just taking care of your body as best you can. Has there been anything about this process that surprised you as you've gone on, you know, since the combine maybe? Or? Uh, no. Uh, workouts are going to be workouts. So you just got to go in there and, like I said, not try to do too much and um, show them that you're a competitor because, you know, they have so much film on you. They probably know more about your game than you do. So you just have to go in there and compete. Is there something else, too, that you're trying to show teams maybe, you know, that they didn't know about you at U of A that, that you can do in these kind of things or in interviews? Or? Um, you know, in the court, I'm just trying to show people that, you know, I can shoot the ball. I didn't really have to do that at U of A. I was so worried about getting other people to ball. And um, I know teams, if I make a team, will go under and um, leave me open. So I uh, have to keep defenses honest and um, knock down open shots. And I'm, real, I'm working really hard to do that. So how many teams total you, you figure you'll work out for? What do you have coming up? Um, I have Golden State uh, tomorrow, then Portland on the 9th, Chicago on the 10th, Indiana, Brooklyn, Detroit, and Los Angeles. So i still got a pretty good amount left. Is the workout a difficult environment for you to show your best traits because it's three-on-three three ball or even two-on-two? Mm -hmm. two? Um, I think, you know, there's a silver lining to it. If, you know, if I'm making great passes in three on three, uh, it, it could be a lot easier with two more guys out there being able to space the floor. So, um, you know, three on three is a good way to kind of show how I can play off pick and roll. But, you know, five on five, you know, it could be easier for anyone since they're people able to space the floor out.